In this video, we will see the introduction to MongoDB. We will understand the basic concept of MongoDB, that how MongoDB is a NoSQL database. Now, first of all, what is MongoDB? MongoDB is one of the several database type to arise in the mid 2000s under the NoSQL banner. Instead of using tables and rows as in relational databases, MongoDB is built on an architecture of collection and documents. MongoDB is basically an open source NoSQL document database that provides high performance, high availability and automatic scaling. By high performance, it means that MongoDB provides the embedding which makes the reads and writes faster. Indexes can include keys from embedded documents and arrays, even optional streaming writes with no acknowledgements stand out as a great feature. Next, with high availability, it means that replicated servers with automatic master failover will help to provide high availability. Automatic scaling says that automatic sharding distributes collections data across machines and eventually consistent reads can be distributed over replicated servers. Now, why do we use MongoDB? The very first feature is flexibility. Flexibility means that you can add any type of data into the database. So data in MongoDB has a flexible schema. Collections do not enforce document structure. So this flexibility gives you data modeling choices to match your application and its performance requirements. Therefore, you can dynamically modify the schema without downtime and you spend less time in preparing your data for the database and more time putting your data to work. So that was about flexibility means you can add any type of data, whether it's PDF, audio, video or data from social networking sites into your database. Next feature is scalability. Now, scalability simply means that you are basically meeting the demands of data growth. And scalability is the ability of a system, network or process to handle a growing amount of work in a capable manner. Now, as the size of the data increases, a single machine may not be sufficient to store the data nor provide an acceptable read and write throughput. And sharding solves this problem with horizontal scaling. Therefore, MongoDB provides you with horizontal scalability through sharding. Now, the next important feature is high performance. Here, as you can see in the diagram, that MongoDB performs better in terms of queries per second from SQL. Now, as you can see that as the number of queries increases, SQL takes longer time to process those queries as compared to MongoDB. Now, there are various factors behind this high performance of MongoDB. So, a few being that MongoDB provides embedding of documents and it avoids the concepts of joins and it even provides the indexing of data. So, MongoDB is 2 to 10 times faster than MySQL and 50 times faster than CouchDB. Now, MongoDB a NoSQL database. See, as we know that MongoDB is a type of document store NoSQL database. So MongoDB is basically an open source document database leading NoSQL data model. And MongoDB avoids the traditional table-based relational database structure in favor of JSON-like documents with dynamic schemas, which making the integration of data in certain types of applications easier and faster. Now, there are various reasons that why do we use NoSQL. To list a few, the very first reason is that NoSQL provides simpler data model, means you do not have to use the concepts like joins, rather it encourages the concepts of embedding the data and indexing your data. Then it helps the developers to provide the rapid development to their applications. It even provides the high scalability, as I told you that it provides the scaling out capability. Then it even provides high flexibility, means you can add any type of data into your database. 
then it helps you provide the distributed storage means your data can be present on multiple servers which will basically help you provide the high availability of your data then it even accepts the streaming or that is the high volume of data to be stored into your database then it even helps you to provide the real time analysis then it even gives you the capability to re redundantly handle your data means to make your data highly available by replicating your data on multiple servers then it does not needs to be implemented on a very high budget since it supports the scaling out you can implement it on a very low budget 